Hi, Doug here with DJD Labs. I was taking apart a scanning electron microscope and I came across this very unique piece of engineering. This is the sample rotator that goes into the high vacuum environment. Now, on the surface it looks very simple. You rotate this shaft with a motor, the input shaft rotates, and they're directly coupled. Now, the problem is, in a high vacuum environment, you can't have a rotating seal running between the two. It just won't work. So what got me curious is how they're accomplishing that inside. So, hopefully in this video I can try to describe what's going on in here. So let me pull the cover off. And I was surprised to discover this does not physically connect to that. What's going on inside here is there is a little small bevel joint with a corrugated stainless steel that rotates the output shaft. To better describe what's going on inside, think of it a lot like a universal joint. When I rotate this end, it spins that end. Same thing, if I hold this stationary and rotate it, it will spin the bottom end of the device. Very similar to what's going on in here. To give you a better visual, let me set this aside for a moment. I have a larger version here. This is the same device, this is what that was inside of, that did a larger coupling. For the experiment, I set up two blue lines here to show what's going on. If I rotate this, it will directly match, even though it's completely flexible, they'll keep locked. Another example of that is if I turn it down its side, see how the blue line will rotate as it goes around? Now, if I were to hold that blue line vertical while rotating, it would keep this part rotating no matter what angle I'm on. So this is happening on a much smaller scale inside that device. Bring that back here. So there's a very small bearing that goes on the end here. And on the inside here is a small plate that's mounted on an angle with a slot that the bearing rides in. So as you rotate this, it actually wiggles this end, which I'm sure is a technical term, over and around, which causes the end of the shaft to rotate. And being that there's no actual rotating force going between the two, like I can't physically rotate this, it's just the movement around is causing the rotation. It remains perfectly sealed even in incredibly high vacuum environments. Now let's see if I can get lucky putting this guy back together again. It's a little tricky getting it lined up. There we go. And once back together, it's fully operational again. I hope that helps shed some light on some intricate processes that go on inside scan and electron micro microscope, especially the rotating parts like such. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm Doug with EJD Labs. Thanks for watching.